The gauntlets are reoccurring items in the Legend of Zelda series. They appeared in quite a lot of games and always gave Link the upper hand to continue traveling through the lands of Hyrule. By obtaining these items, Link is able to grab stones or boulders and push or throw them aside to continue his journey. Not a lot is known about these items as they seem to give the wearer the ability to become extremely strong. These items are usually magical, attached to the arm or hand and are usually found through some dungeons you explore. Now, who made these items? As it is never really explained where the concept of these items came from. The gauntlets are created from different materials, as they are made with silver or gold. Sometimes it looks to be made with just leather too. The silver and gold elements however, are the most important that we have to look at. Silver in ancient cultures was heavily looked for, as it was used for decorational purposes, and gold was used as a symbol for immortality and power. Gold was also seen as a magical element, with the golden gauntlets being the strongest gauntlets in Ocarina of Time. Now what it is interesting, is that it seems to have a red crystal right in the middle of the gauntlet. This crystal seems to be red and has a triangle shape. This happens to be extremely connected to the Triforce of Power, a power given by the goddess Din, with her color being the color red. So in other words, the connection to Din is there, but there's more going on with these gauntlets. The Gerudo might be the ones that created them, but the Gerudo aren't known for smithing, or creating weapons, but as time went on, they started to learn how to make weaponry and armor. In Breath of the Wild, the Gerudo became fearless warriors, with all kinds of crystal red gem ornaments and beautiful golden armor and weapons. The Gerudo shield is one of these amazing designs and has a red gem in the middle of the shield, just like the gauntlets do. Now when we look back at these gauntlets, something must have inspired these gauntlets to be created by the Gerudo. There is no indication in the legends that exist about magical created gauntlets. It was created in Ocarina of Time, many or thousands of years later when Hyrule was created by the goddesses. Could this possibly mean that this invention was not created by the Gerudo at all, but an inspired creation that came from a much older culture? Also, notice how in this concept art, shows Kenedorf with a very strange chained arm, which looks very familiar. When looking through the cultures of Hyrule, only a few stand out regarding building magical items. The first we have to look through are the Sheikah. The Sheikah tribe are agile shadow warriors, guarding Hylia and the royal family for centuries. These people could easily have been the candidate to be the first creator of the gauntlets. However, their need for strength has never been there, as they're always lurking in the shadows. They are also not known for crafting weaponry, but go for items like Deku Nuts to flee the scene. Instead, they are bodyguards or sorcerers with historic value regarding the lands and cultures of Hyrule. The Goans comes next. These creatures love to build and forge all day long. However, they do not seem to carry so much about strength, as their power is already unmatched by normal men. In Ocarina of Time, however, there is something called the Goron's Bracelet. In the source code of Ocarina of Time, this item was also called Copper Bracelet. It almost does what the gauntlets do, only on a much smaller scale. It allows Link to pick up bomb flowers throughout the game, and this is how he opens to the Donko's Cavern. It's also allowing Link to push heavier boulders. Are the Goans responsible for creating the gauntlets? Why do the gauntlets appear around the Gerudo? The answer is that the Gorons aren't magical creatures. The Gerudos are the ones connected to most to magic, as they are also half Hylian. This is the reason why every 100 years, a male Gerudo was born, as the Gerudos mate with Hylian men until then. So if it's not the Gorons, and not the Sheikah, then who are the creators of these gauntlets? As you look back at the Zonai, we know that these beings were magical and built all kinds of structures around Hyrule. In order to create these structures, someone must have had incredible strength in order to do so. 
This is where the Gauntlet's inspiration came from. The Zonai were known to be strong barbarians, having connections to the Triforce, and as time went on, they eventually created the barbarian armor that gave power to whoever that was wearing it. The armor has red hair on top, same as the Gerudo do, and as time flew by, the agent Gerudo learned from the Zonai and became apparent with machine building. Throughout the games, the Gerudo for reasons unknown created tons of machines and magical equipment that protected their temples and homeland. In the Breath of the Wild 2 trailer, we saw Link having some sort of gauntlet attached to his arm, granting him magical powers. These powers will allow him to do a multitude of abilities. These abilities passed on to each generation by different cultures across the land, and every culture created a new idea based on these abilities. Some allow you to pick up boulders, use a hookshot, a gadget beetle that Link will be able to control, while other gauntlets allowed you to teleport across a multitude of places. These gauntlets were powered by luminous stones, which was found all across Hyrule, and as these stones contained magical energy from the ancient past, cultures around the land created their own versions through the dedicated studying of magic. As mining became dominant part of some cultures, different ores were discovered. Diamond, the hardest material, was heavily sought after by the Gerudo, together with Sephi to protect their people against the heat. With the Gorons, Barely having any magical background, creating weak but clever equipment, like the copper bracelet for anyone to use. The Sheikah went after the luminous stones, as they were the magical practitioners of unlimited knowledge and had permission of the royal family to create very powerful weaponry. And so, these items were used to cultivate, grow, fight and defend their homelands. And as the green gauntlet was found within the pyramid of power, one can only speculate that this is where the Zonai decided to hide their most strongest technology. Buried, together with the most wicked evil of all, hoping that whoever releases this ancient evil by force or by accident shall benefit of this technology to overcome this indestructible threat. Hello subscribers, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next video.